Nishad Barrows, everyone. Yes. What I mean is Nishad borrows everyone's money and doesn't pay it back. It's not borrowing if you keep it. Okay, gay gay Abrams. Uh, <laughs> Eric Emerson, everybody. Clap for Eric. Is that your real name? It's so strange. Eric Emerson, it sounds fake. You almost look like a Peter Parker, right? But instead of a superhero, you're a molester man. <laughs> Nishad, if you're here, who's not being particularly helpful at a T-Mobile? <laughs> relax, relax, relax. A couple disappointed customers in the crowd. <laughs> Eric, if you're here, who's hacking into the Pentagon? <laughs> I'd like to thank you for taking a break from getting butt fucked by P. Diddy to be here tonight. Oh, okay. A little okay. service announcement, guys. Do not get mad at Nashad on your way out tonight. He's not whistling at your girl. That's the wind going through the gaps in his teeth. Good. That's a great joke. That is a great joke. I will say this. The solar eclipse did just pass. It did just pass. Or as Eric likes to call it, me putting my dick over his girlfriend's forehead. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. She doesn't like black guys. I checked. Uh, <laughs> She does like older guys, though. Eric's girlfriend is younger than him. You want to know how they met? So they both went to school together. She was a student, and he was hiding in the wood chips in the playground. <laughs> uh, Nishad is one of those black nerds who goes to uh, like C2E2 and Comic-Con, uh, probably because he thought Comic-Con was for comics who are convicted felons. <laughs> Yeah, Eric's girlfriend is younger than him. He has like a Leonardo DiCaprio thing. Except the only reason he dates them is to stay on their health insurance. The fact you thought that was funny is proof inner city schools are failing our youth. <laughs> uh, Nishad's sister is a butch lesbian. And I'm actually right now standing next to the first black pussy she ever saw. Sorry. Eric has what we like to call a broadcaster voice, doesn't he? He's like, every joke he says, he's gonna be like, all right, now back to you. <laughs> I'm excited for uh, Nishad's comedy special to come out. It's uh, actually the first one ever to be released exclusively on body cam. <laughs> Eric, you have the body of a stork and the personality of a politician's son. Uh <laughs> All right. <laughs> I thought that was set up. One more? All right. Uh, if you guys have been following the news, you'll know that just uh, this week, the government actually delayed its ban on menthol cigarettes. More excellent work by the powerful Nishad lobby. All right. By the way, <laughs> I have a saver. A Nishad lobby is the foyer of his neighbor's apartment where he steals Wi-Fi. All right, uh, <laughs> I got a little poem for you, Eric. Uh, roses are red, violets are blue. If you see Eric by a neighbor, uh, if you, uh, no! Take it to SoundCloud, Jailbird. God damn. <laughs> I want to hear the end of the fucking poem right now. Thank you, thank you. All right. Fuck it, he'll go acapella. <laughs> You wish you could rap. <laughs> okay. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you see Eric drinking smoothies in your neighborhood, you know you gotta move. <laughs> Woo! Give it up for them, everybody. Oh, my God. Oh, man. What a journey we all just went on together. That was amazing. The funniest thing I've ever seen, and then the rest of it. So, Let's start it off one more time for them, starting off the roast battles tonight. Very funny. All right. Max Sorich, what did you think tonight? There's a mic right in front of you. Yeah. This one's not working. Oh, it's not working? Is it, is it working? Yeah, it's there. All right, never mind. Um, thanks. OK. <laughs> it's actually good advice. Um, 
It is what you gotta do. Very funny roast. Uh, Eric kind of looks like he would tell on the shot for playing his Bluetooth speaker in the hallway. <laughs> but the shot's playing like the Naruto theme song, so it's pretty. <laughs> Pretend that was funny. All right. Um, I think uh, I gotta give it to Eric. He just had some of the highlights of the battle, but really fun, really great, pretty close. I had fun. Right. Okay. Max had fun. Eric gets a vote. Give it up for Eric right now. Give it a vote. Yes. Stephanie. Yeah, uh, great first battle. Give it up for them, you guys. That was a great start to the show. I really do love comedy so much because in real life, Eric, you would be way too scared to talk to Nishad. <laughs> that would just be, there would be no reality in which you two would meet, you know? <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna give it to Eric for being brave up there, yeah. <laughs> the brave white man gets one more vote. One more for Eric. Yes, they didn't like. They really don't like the racism. Good luck, everybody. But um, Brittany, what do you think? Uh, yeah, incredible first battle again. Give it up to these guys. Very good. Strong start. Um, I feel like I'm watching the eclipse all over again. <laughs> Eric, you look like you're upset that Nishad stole your lunch money. Um, and uh, I gotta give this one to Eric. Uh, Nishad, good jokes, but your speech impediment fucked you up pretty hard. <laughs> Okay. Eric gotta, wins. You're going to talk good for a roast battle. <laughs> Eric wins it, but I do want final thoughts from Jim Flanagan. I loved it, man. This is one of my favorite battles, you know? A Predator versus The Predator. What a way to start, am I right? Uh, great battle, two of my favorite comics. I'm also going Eric on this one because that's T-Mobile joke, but great job, both of you guys. All right, great job, guys. Get out of here. Great battle. Good way to start it off. Hey, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.